Amen. God's Word will work. Now, are you listening? And somebody say, well, now, now, again, is it the will of God for everyone to be healed? What's this say? Let this answer that for you. That's the wrong question, but let this get rid of it. He said, if you'll attend to his word, let them not depart from your eyes, keep them in your heart, they'll be something to you. This is automatic. This will happen. This will be to you. That's not automatic as in you doing nothing. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. If we don't stay in this word and honor God as we ought to and give God a part of our life that no one else can have, not your wife, not your children, not, not, not the world, things of the world. None of that can have this. Only God. He owns this. Are you here? He owns first place. If he owns this place, we don't have to worry about the rest. They take care of its own, don't they? If he has first place, if he owns this right in my life, and I give it to him, the rest I have no problem with. Then I don't put anything else first. And somebody says, oh, that sounds like that's too... How are we going to have any fun? What's it say here? Life. What's the opposite of life? So I guess God knows all about life, don't he? I guess God knows all about real life, don't you? Hmm? Hmm? Real life. The real thing. So, now, I'm, I've been trying to say this for the last 15 minutes. If we don't give God this place in our life and we start or we do or we have been doing putting other things first. Things are more important, in other words. The, one of the first things will happen is we'll become dull of hearing. Your hearing will dull. Dull. In other words, it's like talking to somebody and there's nobody home. You want to go, anybody home? In <laughs> Are you listening? Uh-uh. No. I can't hear you. Amen. Seen little kids do that? I can't hear you. Well, they're, no, they're consciously making decisions. I'm not hearing what you say. What we can do, you know. And the very first fruits of that is dull of hearing. So then when the word comes and when God speaks, you don't hear it much. Maybe a little, but it's never clear. It's never sharp. It's never, it's never exciting. It's just, well, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. That's a good thought. Anybody could be healed and, and have life and all that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, it's good for people to go to church. Oh, it's better than good. I said it's better than good. Well, it'd be it would be good if anybody would read their Bible and, and do that, you know, if they wanted to. No, it's more than that. That's how you start treating the things of God. And one morning it'd be church time and you'd say, well, you know, I know it's good if you go to church and stuff like that. But you know, I, it, these other things too, you know. You're going to get so dull here. 
that you that you won't hear. And the word of God will come and it'll just it just go over you and it won't mean nothing to you. And you just you just live however you want to. That's what happens to people. That's the reason when sometimes they'll come in uh, to churches and stuff and they'll be down and out and they'll be drug out. <laughs> the world's beat them up. <laughs> the devil's kicked them, the world's beat them. Amen. And sometimes they come in carrying doctor's reports and they come in, you know, just grieved and, and, and a whole lot of stuff. And and. And, and the, then the devil starts lying to them. He starts putting all these thoughts in their minds. Well, you know, well, now, now you know if God could do anything he wants to. That's a good thing he likes to use. You know he can do anything he wants to. And if he was going to do it, he would do it. That's devil talk. And that's also the way some people talk. <laughs> 